committed relationship? Looking for real advice on having love and enriching your relationship? You are in the right place. Welcome to The Couples Expert with Stuart Fensterheim. Hello, and welcome to The Couples Expert podcast. This is Stuart Fensterheim, The Couples Expert. This is episode 111 of our podcast. I am so very happy to be here with you again this week, and our topic is one that I've set as a goal for the couples I counsel, and that is to really understand the importance of renewing your vows and recommitting yourself to your marriage, to the partner and to your life together as a couple. So thank you for joining me on this Couples Expert podcast journey. I'm really enjoying this topic this week, and it's getting me thinking about my wife and I doing this at one of our upcoming milestone anniversaries. It's perfect timing to have your renewal to celebrate a specific date or event. You have may have been together for five years, 10 years, or even 35. If it doesn't really matter, it's never too late to renew your love and commitment to your spouse. One of the things I'm getting very excited about is Debbie and I are going away together. We're about one week away from taking a mini vacation to Sedona, Arizona. If you haven't been to Sedona, you really should check it out. It is so gorgeous, and it really is a spiritual place. I spoke a couple of weeks ago about our weekend at a dog retreat, and we had such a blast. I like the two of us to get away a few times a year, and we use that time just to be together, to connect, and enjoy each other's company away from the regular humdrum of regular life together. We have a standing date where we go to Sedona every single Memorial Day weekend. We cool off there because it gets a little bit hot here in Scottsdale. I guess it'll be in the hundreds because by then it's really going to heat up. What we do is we hike, we play, we just have a good time being together. And this year, we're going to be stopping at a winery on our way there. I'm really looking forward to that, just having this time to Debbie and I to really enjoy each other. Ollie, however, continues to bug me and says that I better not forget that he gets a cheese plate with wine as well. And uh, I told him that we'll sort of have to check that out. And Actually, we looked it up, and it says that dogs can be there as long as they don't get on the furniture, so he'll probably come along. As I do with my work with couples in my practice, I see couples that are in terrible difficulty. Often, they've been been struggling with what we call a relationship injury, and that's hurt, that there's been a violation of trust. Couples who started out so much in love now find out that the relationship is broken down. Communication's poor, and they're trying to figure out just what went wrong. They're struggling with all these negative interpretations of each other, the intentions that you have, and trying to really understand if they really are still right for one another. After all, they're in so much pain. What my role there is, is to help them really see that they do belong together, and that there is a path, a path that they can take that will take them back to feeling so very important to one another. And the way we do that is we build it on small segments of having an emotionally safe place where we talk about what each of them might need in terms of feeling loved. The transformation that comes from that is really an amazing thing. And through the process of the counseling with an attachment model, and through what I use is called emotionally focused therapy, I see these incredible transformations every day. There is such joy in my work to see a couple go from that incredibly painful place to a place where they truly feel important to one another. And when we're able to accomplish that, and the statistics and the research plays out that over 80% of couples who go and see a couples counselor with this model have a success. And the success becomes where they understand 
that they're now in a relationship with their partner and their partner sees them as the best thing that ever happened to them and that they have each other's back. This is so God darn rewarding. And I think the logical next step after you've worked so hard at that, after you've fixed and have a relationship that the two of you now view is so very special that you can now have a recommitment to yourselves as a couple. This can be done privately or it can be done in a public setting. Renewing your vows is such a wonderful way to show that trust has been reestablished and to symbolically show that you've created this new relationship. Not just an excuse to have a party, although nothing wrong with that, but by all means to celebrate, to celebrate your love, to celebrate your life, to celebrate your journey. Remember, the reason for celebrating is to show the deeper meaning of why you're renewing your vows and all the many reasons that you now have to have the joy of your life, which is your partner, and to share that joy. Celebrate each other and the new relationship you created that you both know is going to last the rest of your life. I love the quote from the book, The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks that says the following, and I quote, the best love is the kind that awakens the soul and makes us reach for more, that plants a fire in our hearts and brings peace to our minds. When you've struggled and overcome challenges that you face as a couple, You've come to a place where your souls are awakened to one another. And you know that together, there's even more joy and love for your future. What an amazing feeling of passion and fire in your hearts and peace of mind that this gives to you. You don't wonder what tomorrow's going to bring. You know your love is with you and that the two of you are sharing a life and a love together knowing that you both are in this world together and together you can and that you have overcome strong odds that might have torn you apart. Renewing your vows after overcoming these struggles and challenges is a victory celebration. You've publicly declared that you'll do and have done whatever it takes to make your relationship successful. You're making it about the two of you. You can make this renewal as emotional and vulnerable as you wish to. And that the very meaningful celebration of overcoming everything that has been against you and the success you now have in creating an authentic relationship that will last. You're telling the world about your renewed commitment to one another that your strong and real relationship is a true partnership and that you want to have this event, this renewal of your vows, to symbolically show everyone how powerful it is and the meaning it has for the two of you. One of the ways that I love in weddings that I've seen recently, I've done on my own, and I think with renewal of vows even more important to show symbolically the two of you are truly now joined together. So what you do is you take two colors of sand and you mix them into one container. What we know is when you pour sand like that together, it melds them so they can never be separated. What a wonderful statement and symbol that this is for your life together. When my wife and I got married, my brother became ordained online through the Universal Life Church so that he could officiate at our wedding. I love the idea. And since my love for him and his commitment to me and my wife and my happiness, it could end up with his being the one to share that excitement. And that's one of the things that I try to do with my counseling work. I try to be that person to help facilitate 
that incredible experience where the two of you finally feel the love that you always have had. So what I did is I also am now an ordained minister with the Universal Life Church so that I can also be part of that if you would like me to be. So that in our work together, in my practice, if we create the kind of relationship that says to you, we want to renew your vows, I can be part of that if you would like. I can perform the ceremony and officiate at your wedding. I love pomp and circumstance. I love theater. I do what I love, and I love what I do. I love to put myself on the stage of life. I have this vision that I can be someone who can help facilitate all of you having the most incredible relationship of anyone you know, that we can repair and heal whatever injury came your way. And now together, we can also help with the recommitment. I think it's a wonderful way that I now can help you take the next step in your relationship. Before we continue, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to these podcasts. The Couples Expert podcast is on iTunes or on my website. And please leave some comments below, suggestions. Please leave an honest review on iTunes so that I can read them, which I do. I read all of them. And that I would love to hear from you, my community, my listening audience about what you think about these podcasts and any topics you'd like me to record a podcast on because I listen to every single one. The other thing that I offer is, and some of you know this, but if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I have a Couples Expert YouTube channel which gives you access to my Three Minutes with Stuart videos, which are tips on love and relationships that you can put into practice right now today to improve that relationship with your partner. Renewing your vows takes making that commitment to your partner all over again. People have difficulty committing, we know that. I can see this in my office practice with couples all the time. When couples have had struggles or those relationship injuries, it's natural for them to be a bit worried about taking that risk. They have to ask themselves if they're really willing to go all in. What do they need to feel comfortable with doing that? Each partner has to be able to feel that the risk is worthwhile and have a comfort level in making that commitment or recommitting all over again. Rituals and symbols are important in our lives. Renewing your vows is a perfect time to bring these symbols into play and give the ritual deeper meaning. You're inviting your partner to marry you again. Don't take that lightly. If there's been an injury, as we previously talked about, it could be a very meaningful symbolic gesture for the partner that was injured to invite the other to commit again, to publicly show a united partnership in this world. It doesn't have to be the answer to a relationship injury, however. This can be a wonderful way to celebrate a long-lived relationship on a milestone anniversary. This shows the world you do it all over again, especially for couples that may have eloped. When they married, it's a fun time to get all the family together, share the moment with the people you love the most, with the people that really are meaningful to you. Personally, I think it should be an intimate setting, maybe in an informal dress and a gathering of people who mean something to both of you as a couple, your friends and family who have supported you through your lives and struggles should be included in this special event. Have a photographer by all means and choose your officiant as someone tied to you as a couple, like I did with my brother. It doesn't need to be a minister because it's not a legal ceremony. I also think it's a great idea to forego gifts in favor of maybe things like charitable contributions to a cause you both feel strongly about. My wife and I would have our pet charity 
Desert Lab Rescue, of course, the dog rescue, as the beneficiary of our renewal ceremony. I personally think you should write your vows, and these should be those of you, in your own words, to really talk about how meaningful your partner is to you and to your spouse and children and stepchildren. The meaning of this event is strengthening your relationship as a couple and as a family. And you can use your vows as a way of shouting from the rooftops how important your relationships are to you in your life. Take a moment to acknowledge those who have helped you to make it where you are today. Those friends and family that have played a special part in your relationship. I personally think you should also honor those that aren't able to be there because of death. Grandparents that have passed away and really just to have a tender moment to really share what meaning they had to you and to the two of you. The food, which is always fun, should be symbolic and have fun with it. Have your favorite and make it what reflects the two of you. Bring your style and personality into it. Themed and costumes as well as destination trips are extravagant and fun. But you can also make 10 people at a local beach or park just as meaningful. You are there to celebrate and share with everyone that you know that you have a love that will last a lifetime. It wasn't an easy road to get where you are, but you can look back on it with a sense of joy and accomplishment that you and your partner have created something really beautiful, a relationship that's going to last forever. Don't forget to tune in to the Couples Expert podcast next week when our topic will be fun things for couples to do in the summer. I've got some great ideas for you and your partner. And to make the most of your time together this summer, I hope you'll join me to learn a lot, to share a lot, to have fun, and above all, stay connected. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.